Today I'm going to talk about five hidden gems to discover on the alternative investment market. Hello, I'm Rachel and you're watching Calkine Media. The alternative investment market, also known as AIM, is a specialized unit of the London Stock Exchange, catering to smaller, more risky companies that require a more flexible governance approach to float shares on the market. AIM-listed stocks not only present ample opportunity to enlarge the wealth with stock market investment, but also make investors eligible for various government-sponsored tax reliefs. Let us now take a look at some of the hidden gems on AIM. Renaltix is an artificial intelligence powered into vitro diagnostics firm engaged in optimizing clinical disease management and risk assessment of kidney diseases through the Kidney Intel X platform. The US General Services Administration granted the company a 10-year contract for Kidney Intel X testing services at $950 for each reportable result. For the quarter ending 31st of March 2021, Renaltix recorded a $0.6 million worth of services revenue. A pioneer in liquid biopsy services, Angle completed two separate clinical studies on 200 subjects to develop an ovarian cancer pelvic mass triage test, with the results showing a 95.1% accuracy. Its Parsortix technology has been granted 26 patents across the globe. Angle set up clinical service laboratories in the US and the UK to speed up the commercialization of the Parsortix system and serve as demonstrators to enable product development. Moving on now, the Sanderson Design Group is a provider of premium interior design and furnishing products. The sales of the company in the first 23 weeks of the financial year stood at £50.9 million. The pent-up demand for home interior solutions during the pandemic occupied with the high demand for British design and manufacturing post-Brexit helped the company. RBG Holdings is a company engaged in offering professional and legal services. For the year ending 31st of December 2020, the group revenue and profit from litigation assets increased by 8% to £25.6 million. The board of the company announced plans to pay an interim dividend of two pence per share for the six months ending on the 30th of June 2021. On the 27th of August, they'll be given to shareholders. Moving on now, Warpaint London is a company engaged in the supply of specialist colour cosmetics. The company also owns Technic and W7 brands. For the year ending 31st of March 2021, Warpaint London's revenue stood at £40.3 million. That was a drop from the previous year's £49.3 million due to the impact of COVID-19 and temporary closures of retail outlets. It recorded a pre-tax loss tax of £1.1 million in 2020. Warpaint recommended a final dividend of three pence per share. Now, if you like this information, please like, share and comment on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Press the bell icon for notifications for our latest videos. And for regular updates and information, log on to our website, calkinemedia.com. I'm Rachel, signing off for Calkine Media.